All right, Zach, so last time we tested out the Cybertruck in terms of tools, and unfortunately, the Ford kind of beat the Cybertruck in terms of 120 volt tools. Okay. And that's because it only has a 20 amp circuit in the bed. Mm -hmm. um, it does have another 20 amp circuit inside the truck, but most of the time, you're not gonna wanna run an extension cord out. And so- right. Ford has two 20s in the bed. Which means that if, you know, I give you a hair dryer, which okay. doesn't look very powerful, but uses 1600 watts, another, well, this is a hair dryer for the, non faint of heart and then if i have a grinder okay this should kill the circuit on the cyber truck should we so, test that yeah so turn on your thing okay i'm on high i'll turn on my thing and then i'll turn on the grinder wait what happened uh i went to go <laughs> So what we're doing is we're killing the circuit because we're pulling too much amps. Oh, and it just shut off for a second because in the Teslas we found out it shuts off for like two seconds and then restarts. Yes, and uh, we're like right on the edge of pulling about 20 amps or over 20 amps. Right, so if we want to run all three tools at the same time, we can't. We but can't. you found some kind of hack. So here's the hack. You may remember that back here is not just, you know, two 120 volt outlets, there's also a NEMA 1450 yeah, but, plug. But Jesse, this is 110, I can't plug into it. So that's what this baby is for. What is that? All right, it is gonna convert the 240 volt, 40 amp plug into two separate circuits. Of 120? Of 120 volts. 40 amps each. Meaning- 40 amps each? This is equivalent to 20 amp, 20 amp, 20 amp, 20 amp. No. Really? Yes. Can so, we try it? first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And we're going to see if anything bad happens. <laughs> okay. Ready? You ready? Nothing, Nothing bad Nothing has bad. happened. Okay. Next thing okay. I'm going to do, test this with my multimeter because you want to see how many volts it is. If it's 240 volts, then we're no good. If this okay. is 120, then we're all set. So, I'm going to put this in the hot okay. and the cold, and what do we get? 118 volts. 118 volts, huh? That's, that's 120. That's kind of what you want for a 120 volt tool. Now right. what I'm gonna do. All right, let's plug some tools in. Is I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna see if it works. Okay. Make sure it's off, yeah, that's it good. It's off. All right, so if this is running at 120 volts. Yep, then it we should, just tested it, it, it should be. It should be running normally. Okay. If it's running at 240 volts. It'll melt. Bad things will happen. So here we go. <laughs> That's, that's running like normal. All right, so let's see if I can also run my hair dryer. Sure, we'll uh, do the same test as we did last time. I'll also do the heat gun. Okay, right, so I mean, if this is doing what you're saying, we should not blow the breaker. Correct. So this and this, so hopefully. It's gonna run them all at the same time. All right, let's see, here we go. Oh, minus yep. Nice hot air. Yeah, this, that's nice very hot air. hot air. Yeah. All right, should we up the ante? Yeah, I guess we should add something. We, we got some more tools. Yeah, uh, let's add a grinder yeah. and a drill. And then maybe I can hold uh, this drill. Sure. I should probably take the drill out of it. Huh? That's a good idea. Safety. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We've got... Let me start with the heat gun Okay. Thing. So I'm gonna turn this on high. This on high. Okay, now, That's while we're doing that, let me just read what the, the we're pulling 3.1 kilowatts. All right, so. Yeah! What are we pulling, can you see? Four point one kilowatts. Four point one kilowatts. So that would be forty one hundred watts. Way more than we could have possibly. So that is thirty four amps. And this is a forty amp circuit. And so that's a forty amp can circuit. Can we plug this in too? All right. Yeah. Let's get I don't know that how to going. Turn it on. But don't try this at home. By the way, disclaimer: we are not professionals. 
And neither are you. Okay, I'm gonna turn these on first. Okay. Okay. We'll do that one last. Uh, just leave them. Just sit them on the ground. Sit so these on the ground? Yeah. All right, you have to believe us, those are on. They're on. The ants don't like it. Okay, uh, those are on. Oh wait, my drill stopped working. The drill isn't running. What? Oh, now it is. What are we drawing now? The drill stopped running. There really? it goes. It keeps cutting out. Really? You cut it off. Uh, we were 4.3 kilowatts. That's a lot. I think you proved your point. Um, so this, and you might be going like, oh wow, you're getting kind of close to the top of that circuit. We have another 20 amps to go. That's right. Um, now, not, not only we could run in the cabin, which is another 20 amps. Which should be another 20 amps. So that is 20 amps in the cabin, another 20 out here, plus another 20, plus another 20, plus another 20, plus another 20. So we're talking 120 amps. 120 amps at 120 volts. Wow, that's more than, I mean, that's more than most electrical panels. Am I, am I wrong? Right, I mean, that's a lot of amps. 120 amps is a lot of amps. So, you, I can already hear somebody really smart in the back said, wait a minute, mm -hmm. what about the Ford? The Ford has a 220 amp outlet. Yeah, what about the Ford? Don't tell me you got one for the Ford. We have one for the Ford. Now the Ford is a 30 amp outlet. 30 amps, right? So that means you'd get 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Or any combination there, it doesn't have to be 15 this, anymore. It could basically run 30 amps. Right. And that's the other thing here, which makes it dangerous. Yeah. Let's be real. If you were to short something across this 120 volt outlet, you could get 40 amps going across that. Right, so if you have a tool, for instance, that is uh, shorting, it's you know improperly wired or gets, you know, whatever, it, it could hurt you even more. We're definitely breaking electrical code because, yes. and, and these things are breaking the electrical code because there's no fuse or anything. Right. Um, and you can run basically, this one can do 30 amps through a, a, a receptacle that's really only supposed to do 20. Right. Um, and then on this one, it's 40 amps that could go through it. Right which is dangerous. Cause, cause I do want to point out, I have a splitter on here, right? And so this could pull 40 amps right. and melt something. Right. No good. I think what Jesse's probably pointing out here is something we talked about during the tool episode, which is there's a lot of times where your tools aren't all running at the same time, but momentarily some switch on and off like a compressor, especially sure. where it runs for 30 seconds and it would take down your whole job but now it's just running for 30 seconds. So yeah. I, I think that that would be a great use case. But my question is, Jesse, will this actually work in the Ford? Do you wanna go test it? Let's go test that out. All right, we've relocated all the tools to the Ford. And I know that this looks almost exactly the same, um, but this is a different plug. Uh, this is a NEMA L1430P plug, which corresponds with uh, this guy. Now this says it can output uh, 7.2 kilowatts max, because that would be 240 volts by 30 amps. Okay. Um, so we're not even anywhere close to popping the circuit on this. Right. Unfortunately, with all these tools. That's good. I mean, it is good. We're just showing that you can do it. Is there any way for us to do that? I mean, we just need so many more tools. I, I just, that's what I mean. It's not even realistic that you'd right. run that many at the same time. You'd have to have that many people. You'd have to have like eight people running off this truck. All right. So let's see if this fits and we'll do the same test as we did last time. Sounds good. So this one's a bit harder to plug in because it's a circle, but you have to plug it in in a very specific way. I, think. I guess it's cool because it doesn't get unplugged as easily. It's true because you actually give it a like an eighth turn and it turns in. You want to test the voltage? Okay, so I'm going to turn it on, but the truck is not on. So somebody has to go into the truck to turn it on. So I've plugged in to here and I know it looks very scary, but basically this is what you do to test your home voltage. Uh, we're getting 121.7, 121.8. So that we're definitely- so the same as the Tesla. We're getting 420 volt circuits, right? Yes. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right, so let's start, I guess, again with the heat guns. Sure. Cool. Toasty. Yeah. Okay, those are working. Okay. 
So I'll do the two grinders, I suppose. Ooh, hello. Okay, are we ready? Ready. Nice. Jigsaw on the Keep, drill? Careful with that one, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these on the ground again. Okay. So that's 3,100 watts. Okay, 3,100 watts. I can't get the drill to go. That's weird. Might be something wrong with the drill. Maybe. It sometimes goes. What do we got? Another up. <laughs> so this is going back to what we were talking about the other day with the Ford. Um, we had uh, 3,100 watts on the A and 1,100 watts on the B. And so the reason for that oh, right, is- it's different draws. The two heat things were drawing 3,100 watts all by themselves. And then on this side, you can see here that there's a green and a red. Um, so the way, that a, it. the way that a 220 system works in the United States is it's called split phase power. Basically you have two lines, a neutral and a ground. So that, that's why this plug has four plugs on it because there's two lines, a neutral and a ground. The normal electrical things that you're used to seeing have two prongs or maybe three where there's a hot, which is one of the lines, a neutral and a ground. So if you take one of the lines from here and you feed it back to neutral, that's 120 volts. If you take a line and go to the other line, that's 240 volts. So what Ford has done here is taken a split phase power system and split it for you right here, but they're also giving you the exact same thing right here. Wait a minute, so that means that if you were to use these at the same time, wouldn't you be coming off the same circuit? You would which means that the Ford only has 30 amps to 120 volt 30 amp circuit. So 60 amps total in the bed. Yes. 20 and 20, so 100 amps. So the Cybertruck wins. Cybertruck wins by 120 amps to 100 amps. Which is really, really cool. Is that true? So what are you stopping the video for? I think the Ford only has 80 amps of power, not 100. Well, why? Well, in the bed it has 30 amps which you could split into two 120 volts so that's 60. Okay. And then you have 20 between the front that we're sitting in and the cab. That's it. So 20 plus 60 but, is 80. But I mean in the two outlets that are in the cab both say that they're rated for 20 amps. Right. And this one in the front says that it's also rated for 20 amps. True but I think they're all in the same circuit and I think we can prove it. Okay, how do we prove it? You run a heat gun here in the front. Okay. I'll run a heat gun inside the cabin and we'll see if we can blow the 20 amps. We shouldn't be able to. So this draws about 1600 watts. That's gonna be in the 15 to 16 amp range. Right. And the heat gun's gonna draw roughly the same. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be about 30 amps, which would blow a 20 amp breaker. Right, if I'm wrong, they'll both keep running. Okay, all right, well, let's try it out. All right. Okay, so he's drawing 1,590 watts. We're now gonna plug in the heat gun here. I'm on the low setting, so that's 2,400. High setting. And we blew it. We blew it! All right, so we proved it. We did. There's only one 20 amp circuit between the frunk and the cabin. So the math holds. It's 80 amps of power in the Ford, 120 in the Cybertruck. Wow. That's 40 amps of 120 volts difference. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a big difference. Now I will say the Ford has its outlets in slightly better locations. I think that in the rear of the- oh, way better locations. Right, I mean, you have you have four Everywhere you need them. You have, so like for charging stuff, the frunk is like a great spot for it. Yeah, but also it has them in the back seat. That's perfect if you have a laptop or something. Well, the Cybertruck has that too. Yep. Um, and I think that those are basically in the same spot, but the Cybertruck has one in the center console. 
And I just feel like getting a wire out of the center console in the mm. Cybertruck is a lot harder than like right on the dash in the Ford. Yeah. So I, I mean, I'm just trying to be as fair and as balanced as I possibly yeah. can be. I think that it's a, uh, it's a pretty decent setup in the Ford. I, when do you need to pull 120 amps exactly? I'm not entirely sure. But if you're powering a very, very large job site and you have these like peak loads of things, you know, compressors kicking on and saws going on. No, it's a really good point. I think. 80, 120 amps, like that's only if you're really doing extreme conditions. Right, um, and we, we're only able to unlock that full 120 amps of 120 volt power um, with a $24 adapter True. in the Cybertruck. True, um, which isn't even technically legal. I think it is it's going against dangerous. code. It's yeah. a little bit dangerous because you could pull 40 amps, but I still think that it is really, really cool. Yeah. Prove me wrong in the comments, but I think I'm right. <laughs> yes. I think we have proven that Cybertruck has more electrical power. Yes, it's just that you need to buy a $24 adapter in order to unlock it. And in fact, this adapter that we bought for the Ford is entirely redundant. Yes. The only thing that it does is make this more dangerous than what they've already given you. So, I mean, hats off to Ford for coming up with a perfectly usable solution. I'm not dunking on Ford. I think they did a great job. Um, Cybertruck did a good job too, but you need that, that adapter in order to get the full power. I'm sorry, but this whole video proves that Cybertruck has more power. It's really, really exciting. Look, we're gonna put the link to both of these down in the show notes, but um, look, disclaimer, we're not saying to use them. They're not super safe. It's maybe not the greatest idea in the world, but if you wanna test it yourself, that's where they are. Wow, Jesse, thank you for figuring this out. I am really excited to be just, Cybertruck wins! Cybertruck wins. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Now you know. If it was 220, it would blow up. This would uh, either melt. arc, melt, <laughs> or spin so fast that it would shoot shards into our eyes. So okay. I'm gonna hold this a little bit away from us. Okay. And I didn't plug it in. <laughs> I tricked ya. <laughs> I'll do that again.